Hi, everyone. Thank you for taking the time for being here with us today. My name is Lavinia Nagoe, and I'm going to talk to you about finding your own version of success. Most recently, some very, very close friends of mine told me that they find me a successful person. And my reactions to that was, really, am I really a successful person? Of course, the answer to this question depends very much on what we define for, for ourselves as success. And this started a reflection process for me. And I started thinking of all the roles that I'm playing currently today, and I'm going to share some of those with you. First, I'm an engineering director with Google Romania, and I'm a site lead. I have plenty of, te of technology excitement with Google, building the wearables experience worldwide. Second, I'm a mother. I'm a mother of a 12-year-old beautiful daughter. And this is so rewarding for me to see how my family is supporting me through the journey of my career. Third, I'm a woman in the field of technology. And this gives me the opportunity to role model for other women wanting to pursue a career in the field of tech. And this is the role that I've recently picked up and I'm here by the means of this journey today. So coming back to the initial question, am I a successful person? I've set all these things for myself as goals to achieve, and I have achieved them. So yes, I can say I'm a successful person. At the same time, you know what I think it's most important is that it doesn't stop here. I set new goals for myself each day and grow more and more in my career path. And this is the most important thing. It doesn't stop. It continues each and every day. Throughout this career journey, of course, there has been a lot of work. Everything has required a lot of work. As well, it has required determination, perseverance, risk taking, and flexibility. And these are the four topics that I'm going to touch on today. And um, I'm going to share with you life experiences that I want you to take further with you as data points for you to have them throughout your journey and use them wherever is needed. I'm going to share things that work for me, things that didn't, and hopefully that will be useful for you as well. So let's start with looking at two topics, determination and perseverance. I'm, I'm going to talk about all these two together because I find they are very, very similar. Determination and perseverance being the ability to push forward, no matter obstacles, no matter setbacks, push forward towards your goals. But there is also a nuance that I want to underline between the two, with determination being the decisiveness of pursuing a goal, and perseverance being the ability to push forward, no matter obstacles and setbacks. When you persevere, you actually find the opportunity behind every difficulty. And you turn that into a positive thing that you can take further with you and use it in your advantage. So yes, determination and perseverance are two important traits of personality that you would want to carry with you. And you will want to have them when you don't know what is your next step, when you don't know what to do next. And sometimes you'll iterate more. Sometimes you'll want to start from scratch. But here is where determination and perseverance will actually help you. Let's see what's also behind determination and perseverance and how you achieve those two things. A very important one is setting goals. And we all know, for example, that setting goals for yourself Yes, it's very important to have them. 
At the same time, I want to acknowledge that it's very hard to know what you want. It's very hard to know what you want to do. And I remember my high school years, for example, when I was hesitating a lot between many, many options. I wanted to try medical school, archaeology, architecture, math, computer science. And finally, I chose computer science. And you know how I ended up choosing computer science? It was by experimenting. For example, for an entire summer, I joined my mother each and every day into the hospital to find out whether I like going to a medical school or not. Then another thing that I did, I started drawing. I took drawing lessons and uh, actually found out that it's not very easy for me to draw a straight line, free-handed. And then I also went on an archaeological site, and I experimented digging. And uh, we were looking for a so long treasure that, by the way, for an entire summer, it was never found. And then uh, also I went to math and computer science contested, contests. I even won some prizes there. But it was not enough. And I think uh, the thing that moved the needle for me was uh, taking an internship, taking an internship with an IT company in my small town. And I found out through this internship that the one thing that I like doing and the one thing that allowed me to invest infinite time and energy without getting bored, and that is technology. Through technology, I'm touching other domains as well, and I learn and do new things each and every day. And this is how, through my career, for example, I learned embedded systems, I learned automotive, I learned banking, and now wearables and health. So actually, I found the way of not getting bored and doing something new each day. I found that one thing that, for me, I can put in hours and hours of work without getting tired, without getting bored. So to conclude on this, it's very important for you to have goals. But in order to determine what you like, experiment and see what's the most important for you. Let's see also what else is there behind determination and perseverance. And personally, I think it's about motivation as well. And uh, finding that self-motivation, finding that power, that energy that will inspire you and others to move forward, is not an easy thing. And uh, I can give you the example of extrinsic motivation, where these motivations come from outside. Taking the example of a mother, fighting for her daughter's health, for example. The connection between the two, it's so powerful that the energy unleashed there, it's limitless, it's restless. How do you take that type of motivation and make it come from within? How do you find that type of motivation and make it coming from your own self? I'll share with you some of, some of the things that I do for myself, personally. So uh, first of all, I, sh I already shared about experimentation. Experiment and learn. Try out new things and try out the things that you love doing and you want to invest energy. But there are others as well. For me, very, very important, for example, is that I don't settle for health measures. I challenge myself each and every day to be better than I was yesterday. And I also challenge myself to leave the things around me better than I have found them. And this means everything that I create, everything that I modify, everything that I touch in any aspect. Another important one, and this is usually when I have to do decision making, is to project myself in the future somehow shift the perspective. For example, 
if I have to do a tough decision, I, I sit down and ask myself, 10 years from now, will I be proud of my decision? And sometimes, usually, you have to take the hard-working path. Otherwise, you have to take maybe a shortcut. But if you have a goal set for yourself, you actually can determine if you want to take A or B, the hard thing or the shortcut. Because if this task that you have set yourself to do is important for your goal, then you go on the hard path. But if it's not that important, OK, you might as well take the shortcut. Another important thing in terms of motivation, at least for me, this is networking and fostering relationships. I take a lot of energy by surrounding myself with people, listening to them, and finding their perspective. Also, I can also tell you that, for example, a little competition doesn't hurt sometimes. And I advise you to surround yourself with the people that will constructively challenge you and find new ways of doing things. And let's not forget about mentors, coaches, and sponsorship. Surround yourself by the people that will say, yes, it's possible. There, are, there is always going to be someone saying, no, it's not possible. Look further. Look for the ones that will support you and will say, yes, it's possible. Yes, you can do it. Last but not least, this path towards success, it's a long journey. And it's a long journey with multi multiple steps and multiple milestones. And uh, don't forget to celebrate your successes. Sitting there and acknowledging for yourself what you have achieved and what were the qualities that actually brought you there in that moment, this will only inspire you and will provide you with the energy and with the confidence to move forward. And of course, that supports determination and perseverance. So we've talked about goals. We've talked about motivation. Let's talk also about risk-taking. So in terms of risk-taking, here I'll uh, share with you a different opinion, let's say, or a bit different than the usual. Yes, it's important to take risk, right? Because risk takes you to progress. At the same time, my advice to you is to weigh in risk and assume controlled risk. And this is where I'll give you the personal example. At some point, I was offered with this new job, with this new exciting opportunity, which actually meant a promotion. Um, it meant a larger team, a reporting line directly to the country director. So it was such a great opportunity that actually the people offering me this opportunity just volunteered me directly. But when they came in to speak to me about this opportunity, and I started asking about the role. I started asking about the responsibilities. And uh, I found out that this new career opportunity that sounded so excited, so exciting was actually meant changing my career path from engineering to project management. And I had to politely refuse the offer. And this is why. One, because I had a goal set for myself. And I knew that I wanted to do technology. I knew that I wanted to be in this field. And then the, the second one, I didn't just take this opportunity in front of me because it sounded appealing. I weighted risk, and I took a balanced approach. I took the approach that actually built on my strengths and lead me further to success. Usually, if you build on your weaknesses, you might as well scratch the surface, but not reach a level of excellence. So we've talked about determination, perseverance, risk-taking. Let's move into flexibility and take a look at that as well. So for example, with flexibility, I think this is a 
tough one for me personally, and I'm sure it's a tough one for other people as well. Because from that perspective, it's very hard to accept uh, what Greek philosophers are saying, which the only constant in life is change. And change usually triggers in us a process of fear, of anxiety, which is usually fear and anxiety of the unknown, fear or anxiety of a possible loss, of a possible threat. Whereas accepting and embracing change, this turns us into a flexible and adaptable person that will adjust to their environment, to a new change, and will see the opportunity that's behind the difficulty. And for me, this is how flexibility means shifting your perspective. When you are, front, you are in front of yourself with a difficulty, shift your perspective and see the opportunity behind that difficulty. Use this thing in your favor. And it very much connects to determination and perseverance and how it supports that. And I would expand that even more into how it connects to your goals. Like, for example, if you set for yourself at some point something in, to build and you have failed. Here, from my perspective, I'll ask you to take the software development approach. Something that we do in software development very easily is to build a new product, prototype it, test it, and then if things that don't work out, just shift your perspective and do something different. Expanding on this even more, let's look at your life. Let's look at your journey. What you need now and what you know now and what you want to do now, throughout time, it will change. You will learn new things. You will become a professional that some, at some point needs something different than you need today. And accepting the fact that you have changed, that you have different needs, and that the, your goals might have changed because of that, this actually means flexibility. So if you were to take four things from today, I think they might as well be the following. On determination, setting a goal for yourself will determine your path and your next steps. On perseverance, a powerful motivation will release in you energy that you've never thought possible. On risk-taking, weigh in risk and don't just take the first opportunity in front of you because it sounds appealing. And on flexibility, shift your perspective and find the opportunity behind the difficulty. So thank you very much for listening to me today. I hope I have inspired you throughout finding your path towards success. And if there is one more thing that I want you to remember, don't forget to enjoy the ride. Thank you.